by Scout will be the Global Disease Surveillance Network. We will be able to tell farmers anywhere in the world, these are the disease risks you face, this is what you should do about them, and prevent epidemics before they can even start. Biosca started doing my PhD at the University of Sydney, where I was looking at detecting wheat rust in New South Wales faster and with more efficiency than I had previously been able to do. It had been a really hard experience for scientists where we had to go out in the field, put these old hunking spore traps out, come back in a couple of weeks, collect them, do the analysis in the lab. And a lot of the farmers that we talked to loved the data and we were really excited about it. But by the time we actually got it to them, it was too late. I thought, how about we use all these new technologies, so AI, you know, mechatronics, 3D printing, and put that all together in this, in this box that you can see here. So right here, you've got one of the units. We've got kind of the forward-facing system and back here too. So essentially how it works is spores are getting sucked through this nozzle inlet here through into this flow control system and out through the exhaust. So once those spores are being collected, they are on this film that's on the front here, and that's the, something that the user can remove and put a new one every, every two years. Once that happens, it moves to this analysis stage here, which is the, the microscope, the three-axis microscope. It's moving in X, Y, Z, and trying to take really highly focused images of the spores. And we can then send that to the cloud via our, our computing system on board, it can analyze if it's got enough spores to be worth sending up and then analyze through our AI systems. One of the benefits we're starting to see coming out of the scale that we're now operating at, so 130 units across Australia and New Zealand, is that we're getting this network effect of national biosecurity. So we had this really interesting use case where we had customers up in sort of mid-north Queensland asking about facial eczema in sheep and cattle. So they were asking us, oh, have you seen this particular, have you seen this disease, do you think you can capture it, do you think you can do it? Now we didn't have any units in any sort of livestock uh, applications, but we noted that actually in northeast New Zealand where it is present, we'd already seen it on scans and we'd already got annotations for it. And because we have such a wide coverage of our devices, it just means that we're already on the road to tackling new services uh, and new diseases even without even trying. We can then start applying the detection methods we use for other hero particulates. We're talking pollen, for example, for allergy detection. Smart city living where we can say, look, don't go into this area today because it's going to have an asthma attack. In the future, this could mean anthrax, you know, biological weapons, and, and even human-made vectors. We can be in that space too. Imagine finding patient zero of COVID. That's what we want to be for agriculture.